Hi everyone, so ZK Sync 2.0 mainnet is approaching. Right now they have a testnet live on Wrinkleby and they ported it over to the Uniswap V2 smart contract so you can give it a test and see what it's like to use ZK Sync. It's such a cool experience and everything is super seamless and fast. Really, you should give it a try. If you've tried Arbitrum or Optimism, this is even faster, even smoother. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. You can see I'm on the website and I'm gonna launch the app. It'll bring me to the ported over version of Uniswap V2, connect to wallets. And if you don't have ZK Sync Wrinkleby already added to your MetaMask, which I'm guessing you probably don't, it'll pop up automatically and you just click the button to add it. So that's a pretty cool feature. The website looks pretty much like Uniswap as you're familiar with. But the problem is you probably don't have any tokens on ZK Wrinkleby. They have a faucet. So if you click on this button, you can get test tokens, which is pretty cool. The only condition is that you're supposed to click on the tweet button and tweet it out from your profile on Twitter. You'll be given some test token versions of DAI, USDC, Chainlink, and WBTC. To be honest, you don't actually have to tweet. Once you click that button, it automatically gives you the test tokens. But I highly recommend that you do tweet to spread the word about ZK Sync, which is awesome, awesome tech. I've done this before anyways. After a couple of seconds, you'll find the test tokens in your wallets. I might have a bit more than you because I'm doing this for the second time. So yeah, just play around with the app, swap between the different tokens. It's really, really fast. And the gas is not even paid in ETH. The gas, which is by the way, super cheap, is paid in whatever token you're trading. So if I'm trading DAI, I am paying in DAI. If I'm using USDC, I pay in USDC. Just look how fast these, these swaps are. You got the details. Uh, also ignore the exchange rates because it's just a test net and there's no liquidity. Uh, all the exchange rates are off, but yeah. I'm gonna review the transaction. You just sign the, sign the transaction. And yeah, that's, it's done, that's it. I'm gonna get a warning in the corner showing that I can't do any more transactions after this with USDC because I use USDC as gas and I got no more. Now that I spent all my USDC, I'll do a couple more swaps with other tokens just so you can see how it works. So if I'm trading WBTC, for example, I'm gonna pay the gas in WBTC. Important note, what is super cool, I don't need any ETH in my wallet at any point during this whole thing. If you want more tokens, you can just go to request tokens. Again, Twitter will pop up. You actually don't need to tweet, but again, I highly recommend you do. And yeah, I'm sw swapping through the tokens. The exchange rates are super weird, but you're playing with test tokens. So whatever, forget about it. There's literally no liquidity on here. It's not real tokens anyway. But yeah, you just sign the transaction and yeah, very, very fast, very, very cool. Some people think that maybe this is gonna lead to an airdrop. I've actually used the mainnet 1.0 to check out from Gitcoin Grants, and back then it worked really great, so I'm really looking forward to version 2.0 with all the dApps that are gonna run on it. The team behind it, Matter Labs, is also super, super solid, so I really expect great things. Come see for yourself, give the app a try. Anyways, if you want more information, check out their Medium article. I'll put a link in the description below. If you have no idea what ZK Sync is, it's a layer two scaling solution that uses ZK Rollup technology. It makes transactions way faster and way cheaper than layer one. And also it's supposed to be cheaper and faster than optimistic rollups. It's considered to be the holy grail, essentially of scaling solutions. Some of the benefits are, yeah, that it's super cheap. It's super secure and opposed to optimistic rollups, which take about seven days to bring your funds back to mainnet. The waiting time to send from L2 to L1 on ZK Sync is only between 30 minutes and seven hours. The more uses there is on the network, the faster withdrawals will go through. So yeah, this is supposed to be the future, so you might as well give it a try early. Anyways, enjoy.